Rosatom's chief, Alexei Likachev, announces advanced nuclear fuel. For India, Alexei Likachev, the leader of Russia's state nuclear enterprise Rosatom, has confirmed that India is set to receive cutting-edge nuclear fuel this season, highlighting India's significant role in nuclear collaboration. India secures sophisticated nuclear fuel supply. The chief of the Russian nuclear agency has reiterated that India will be equipped with sophisticated nuclear fuel technology shortly. Nuclear advancements for India, confirmed by Rosatom's head. Alexei Likachev, at the helm of Rosatom, assures the delivery of advanced nuclear fuel to India, underscoring the strong nuclear partnership between the two nations. Ajit Kumar Mahanti welcomed by Russian nuclear sector in Tomsk. Ajit Kumar Mahanti, chair of the Atomic Energy Commission, was received by Russia's nuclear authority in Siberia's Tomsk region, where he was introduced to the fourth generation facility poised to house the safest nuclear reactor ever. Praise for Indo-Russian nuclear alliance by Rosatom's director, Likachev, Rosatom's director, lauded the Indo-Russian nuclear alliance, recognizing India as a pivotal nuclear partner. Nuclear chiefs of Russia and India convene in Seversk. On Thursday, Mahanti and Rosatom's director convened in Seversk, within the Tomsk region. Russian Indian nuclear executives inspect deck sites. Executives from the Russian and Indian nuclear sectors inspected the Seversk based pilot demonstration energy complex deck, integral to the strategic Proriv breakthrough industry initiative, as per Rosatom's announcement. Comprehensive dialogue on Russian-Indian nuclear cooperation. A thorough dialogue was conducted regarding the future of Russian-Indian nuclear cooperation during the visit. Rosatom's Likachev ready for expanded nuclear collaboration with India. We are prepared for a significant expansion of our nuclear partnership with India aimed at peaceful energy use. This encompasses the serial production of Russian-engineered high-capacity nuclear power units on new Indian soil, the execution of terrestrial and maritime small-scale power generation, ventures, collaboration in the nuclear fuel cycle domain, and the application of nuclear technologies beyond power generation, stated Alexei Likachev. India plans to utilize the advanced nuclear fuel in its fast breeder reactor program, specifically in the prototype. Fast breeder reactor located at Kalpakam, Tamil Nadu. Here's how India will use this. Next generation nuclear fuel. Energy generation. The fast breeder reactor program is designed to generate 500 mui of electricity using a uranium plutonium mixed oxide MOX fuel. Fuel efficiency. The reactor will use a uranium 238 blanket to produce more fuel through nuclear transmutation effectively breeding fuel and earning its name as a breeder thorium utilization india also plans to use thorium 232.as a blanket which will transmute into fissile uranium 233 a key step towards utilizing india's abundant thorium reserves safety and waste reduction the pbr incorporates advanced third-generation safety features for emergency shutdowns and significantly reduces nuclear waste, minimizing the need for large geological disposal facilities. Cost-effectiveness Despite the advanced technology, the capital and per-unit electricity costs of the PBR are comparable to other nuclear and conventional power plants. This approach aligns with India's three-stage nuclear power program, aiming to achieve energy security and sustainable development by fully utilizing its uranium and thorium reserves. India's thorium reserves are substantial, making it a key player in the future of nuclear energy. Here are some details. Global share India holds about 25% of the world's thorium reserves. Total reserves the country's thorium deposits are estimated to be between 457,000 and 508,000 tons. Monazite source, thorium in India, is primarily found in the mineral. Monazite, which is abundant in the coastal sands of South India, 
Statewise distribution, significant. Thorium reserves are located in Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, West Bengal, and Jharkhand with Orissa and Andhra Pradesh alone contributing over 70% of India's thorium reserves. Strategic importance, utilizing thorium, is a part of India's three-stage nuclear power program aimed at achieving long-term energy independence and sustainability by fully exploiting its uranium and thorium resources. Sustainable energy, thorium is seen as a sustainable energy resource with the potential to provide power for centuries due to its abundance and the country's large reserves. India's approach to harnessing its thorium reserves is methodical and aligned with its goal of becoming self-sufficient in energy production while also reducing its carbon footprint. The development of thorium-based reactors is a significant step towards this objective. Thorium is about three to four times more abundant in nature than uranium. Fissile material natural thorium itself is not fissile cannot sustain a nuclear chain reaction but is fertile when thorium-232 absorbs. A neutron transmutes into uranium-233, which is fissile. Efficiency thorium can potentially lead to a more efficient fuel cycle generating more fissile material than it consumes, especially in certain types of reactors, like molten salt reactors. Safety, thorium-based reactors can offer safety advantages due to their physical and nuclear properties such as a lower capture to fission ratio for thermal neutrons. Waste, reactors using thorium produce less long-lived radioactive waste Compared to conventional uranium fuels, proliferation, thorium cycles are considered to have a lower risk of nuclear weapons proliferation. Overall, thorium presents a promising alternative to uranium with potential benefits in abundance, efficiency, safety, waste reduction, and non-proliferation. However, the technology for thorium reactors is still in the developmental stage and more research and testing are needed to fully realize these advantages.